Okay, one, one of the conferences that we do in this Biblical Imagination series is the Gospel of Luke. And Luke, uh, Luke may be my favorite gospel. Uh, Luke, we know that he was a doctor, for sure, because uh, Paul says he was. Um, but one of the things I discovered in studying slavery in the first century was that most doctors, in fact, most professional people, were slaves. So there's a, a, a very high probability that Luke was a slave. And the interesting thing about hearing Luke's voice, the thing that Luke is interested in that the other gospel writers aren't interested in, he's interested in the fact that the people who should have understood who Jesus was never do. And the people who shouldn't have got it always do. And so what Luke does all through his gospel is pair his witnesses, and no other gospel does it this way. His first, his first pair is the... Is the uh, maybe the most interesting, it's Zechariah, who is a priest, who's the father of John the Baptist, who is in the temple talking to Gabriel, of all people, uh, when he's told uh, what, what's about to take place. He doesn't believe. He doesn't get it. The very next scene, here's Mary, who's very young, probably 14, 15 years old, in Nazareth, which is a very marginal uh, part of, of Jesus' world. When Gabriel tells Mary that she's going to have this baby, she immediately understands and says, Behold the slave of the master is what she says, basically. And, and it's interesting to me that Luke, who is a slave, is interested that the world is being turned upside down, that the outsiders are now on the inside, and the insiders are, are now on the outside. And that's part of the uniqueness of his voice.